Hello. Uh, today we are working with some compost here. Composting is probably one of our favorite hobbies around here and uh, absolutely love it. Uh, you, you will get to the point where you waste absolutely nothing in the trash and you can make your own soil. So here we go. This is a compost pile we started this year and uh, basically it has a lot of kitchen scraps, vegetable matter, um, has a lot of greens in there from the yard, uh, grass and stuff like that, uh, different plants and stuff that, you know, we trim around the yard and the waste goes in here. Yeah. It also has uh, some actual brown leaves from the big spirit tree up there to make the tree uh, last fall that were left over from over winter. That's how we start the pile. And um, here we're, today we're adding some earth seeds, some old birth seeds in the pile because uh, a lot of it doesn't get eaten so we clean it up from over there and we move it to over here uh, and put on top of the pre-existing pile we already started this year so you can see the difference and what we're doing here you'll notice the brown or the real deep black stuff up here that is soil we made last year actually this used to be this because that was a lot of bird seed we we um we composted last year and the neat thing with bird seed is it's like a uh, supercharger for a compost pile because it sprouts and that sprouting energy and the nitrogen involved in it really kicks off a pile to start decomposing you will get if you like the fish you will get thousands of worms so uh, one great way if you, uh, if you even want to start a worm farm or something uh, to sell bait for fishermen would be to start a compost pile. But um, we're going to cover this up. We supercharge it with this soil. This is last year's. You can see how nice that is. And that was all, you can see a couple bits of eggshell that didn't get decomposed here. Like this stuff here. Oh, there it goes. But um, that will supercharge the pile because that new soil is is so full of bioactivity from um that those biomes in here those biological bacteria in here will add to this pile that we started and supercharge it so basically all you do is put some of your last year's soil you made from from compost and you just slowly cover the stuff you've just put on doesn't have to be thick. There we go. Just enough to kind of cover it. We might put some more on later. See how it goes. Um, oh, there's an eggshell. <laughs> so. That was before we realized that it takes an eggshell about five or six years to decompose. So what we started doing was putting the eggshells in a separate container in the kitchen. And before we put them into the compost pile, I just take a fork and crush them up into small pieces, which will help them decompose a lot faster than if they're whole eggshells, as you can see. Yep. And that's how you make soil, people. It is so simple. If everybody did this. If everybody composted, which they used to do back in the day, if everybody would compost, we would save so much, so much landfill space. It is unbelievable. We throw the kitchen scraps away. We throw all kinds of plants. People rake their yard and throw it in the trash. It's the stupidest thing in the world. And really just the worst thing for the planet because... That stuff just goes into a toxic dump, and at that point, it's useless. So, once again, compost. You can see it works. Like I said, I just covered our newly started pile with some bird seed we added um, to the pile with some soil we made last year. This soil was made with uh, leaves from the maple tree in the fall and other other uh, leaves from other trees. That's your brown matter. It was made from grass clippings, plants that we... Uh, chopped down in the fall and um, and put in here kitchen scraps everything everything 
that you can think of this biomass can go in here and you can even add certain other things to it like uh, one of the best fertilizers in the world urine and um you can actually oh are you talking about peeing in your garden yes 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 <laughs> peeing in the garden i know it's such a taboo thing oh my god it's like people have fecal phobia but anyway pee poop carbon pee poop carbon pee poop carbon there you go it makes you soil that's what makes the earth go round but um yeah this is how you do it this is it's as, as simple as can be like i said this is just your your leaves your grass your plants your kitchen scraps uh bird seed anything like that and this is what turns into in a year in an open pile you don't need a composter you don't need any fandangle gadgets um there you go and what we do is we save kitchen scraps in these cans here and and biomass here so we don't overload the pile all at once and junk it up and give it time to do layers at a time and it turns out beautiful so there you go composting and uh hope you enjoy and hope you do it too